Like any good YouTuber, I am throwing my hat into the ring at turning my identity crisis into content. So today I'm going to try a bunch of musical genres, because I don't know what genre I'm in. So I'm just going to, like I said, throw the hat into a bunch of different genres and try to fake like I know what I'm doing. Maybe something will stick. Tell me what sucks and what is passable, alright? Now, in my experience, the easiest way to track something that you're uncomfortable with is to get some kind of percussion track down first. So Sweetwater response to this video, they sent over the Roland SPD SX Pro. And uh, basically, if nothing else, it's just good for maybe following up your own jokes with a... <laughs> basically, it's just a bunch of pads. You can make them sound like whatever you want. And I'm going to use some of the kits in here to uh, just try new genres out and see how it goes. And then I'll come back and I'll talk a little bit about this. Because this thing is awesome, and it is inspiring me to uh, to really lean into this identity crisis that I'm having. All right, so this is the Lo-Fi Hip Hop Kit. Now, uh, I'm just going to kind of do something of what I think Lo-Fi sounds like. Uh, there's not a lot of tape noise just on the main pads here. But uh, I usually think of Lo-Fi as like... Kind of like that... That kind of slow down, broken back beat. So uh, we're just going to try to make a lo-fi track and see what happens. Alright, so now I have this DX7 patch. <laughs> and it sounds lo-fi to me. So uh, we're just going to add that to it, see what it sounds like. Now we're going to add an arpeggiator with a bunch of reverb on it. I'll add the reverb probably later so I can... It's so good. Ah, oh, let's do it. Alright, starting off with uh, the drums jazz preset. So, this is everything we got right here. Cool thing about this is you can actually add external triggers. So if you have one of the rolling snares that, is, that feels a little bit more like an actual snare drum, you can plug that in. You can plug a bunch of them. Hi-hat, control, which is an upgrade from this over the original. And you put a kick drum on there and have like pretty much a full kit. But I'm going to try to fake some bossa nova stuff. Uh, because I've always liked listening to Bossa Nova, but I don't really know how to play it. Even though I have a lesson uh, of the Joe Beam Classic Waters of March, that actually got a lot of views on YouTube way back in the day, because I really just wanted to learn it. So what better way to learn a song than to convince people that you're an expert at teaching it, and put it up on YouTube like a clown, and have other people watch you learn it, but get paid at the same time. So I'm going to try to do some fake Bossa Nova real quick. So I'm on the trap setting now. I'm not going to make a whole trap song, but I do want to talk about how good these pads are at being responsive. I feel like they're more responsive than the old SPDSX.
anyways, that's my, <laughs> my, my trap song. <laughs> What's great is you can use this to trigger sound effects too. So if you're running a haunted house, you can just use this to do this. In fact, a lot of professionals, drummers use this to just trigger samples and stuff like that. In fact, uh, I made my own synthwave kit, which I'm gonna do my synthwave thing now, because it didn't come with the best synthwave sound, so I went to Splice and just dragged them into this. Uh, you can just use a USB cable to hook it up to your computer, and then it's got a really cool software interface. You just take a sound and you just drag it onto the pad. So now I have like a synthwave kit. The other thing is you can even put entire tracks on any of these triggers. So you might find this one familiar. As I just continue to talk about how you should get yourself a rule into SPDSX at Sweetwater.com. Man, this thing... <laughs> Let's make some synth wave. Quick synth pro tip while I got you here. So we're just gonna do a bass line. This sounds cool. The way to do this is to do an arpeggiator and set it to the rate or speed that you wanted it. I just have the rate synced to the actual project, okay? Usually when we think of arpeggiators, we think of stuff that just moves like a big chord, or maybe even like up and down, where it's like. But if you just set it to whatever, up and down, up, whatever, and you just play one note, it's just gonna play that over and over again in frequency, and it sounds really cool. You do an octave. I'm just gonna keep it simple with just one note at a time. Arpeggiated, synth pro tip. All right, this is spanned into two days. I went way too hard on the synths last night and I uh, had some wild dreams. But anyways, we're back at it. We're gonna add some... some cool pads to it. So uh, let's see what we got. All right, so next up is gonna be metal. I am nowhere near good enough at even just hitting pads with the drumstick to be able to play metal drums, but this is a good example of how we can make our own preset here, or just our own little project using loops, okay? So I've got my computer here. I've got it hooked up USB to the SPDX Pro. I am using the app that is totally free. You can get with it. And right now you can see here, these are like the nine pads uh, that represent the virtual versions of this. All you have to do is find a sample that you like and then drag and drop it onto here. So I've got three metal drum samples right here. And again, right now, this is real time too, so right now I'm not hearing anything when I hit it. As soon as I drop this sample into the pad, it'll process, success. Per perfect, exactly what I'm looking for. So I'm just gonna do that with two more of them. There we go. Uh, let's do the other one right here. So now I have three metal drums all at the same tempo. There's like a fill. And that'll be like the main beat. Now the cool thing is when you hit it, you actually have a little bar to show you how much time is left. So you can kind of like keep it doing.
So that is how I'm gonna just kind of arrange a metal drum thing and then just get some heavy guitars to break out the seventh string. <laughs> my foray into all these different genres. Please let me know which one I should focus and uh, devote my career to next. And uh, thank you again to Roland and Sweetwater for sending over the SPDSX Pro. I uh, really love it. Also, you can just change the colors on this too really easily. An incredible just workstation. Has a lot of utility for a lot of different creative things that you can come up with, right? So like I said, uh, thanks again. If you have any questions or comments, hit me in the comment section, Instagram, Twitter, or the website. I'll talk to you all soon. Thanks a lot.